everybody. I really would like to let everybody know what's going on here. <laughs> I'm 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 dumbfounded. I'm so dumbfounded. I don't, I really don't know why people can't read me. I really don't know, but uh, I'm just going to let you all know out in the open what's going on here. Um, you see, when I started on this path, I came from a background that was from a Christian background. There was no mystical experiences other than that demonic experience I had as a child. Um, of course, I was clairsentient my whole life, but I didn't understand all these things. I had no one to teach me. I only had people telling me to shut up, don't talk about it, and look at me like I was strange. And, um, of course, massive abuse. So I knew nothing about uh, all of these mystical things and spirits and any of these things. The only thing I could tell you is that from a very young child, maybe... Um, I always say 10 years old, so maybe it was 10 years old. Um, I had a psychic come up to me. She was walking down the street, and I was just playing with my friends. And she stopped me, and she looked at me, and she says, You have a blue aura. And I had no clue what she was talking about. I said, Okay. I said, What does that mean? Oh, nothing. It just means you're spiritual. So from a very young child, I've had a blue aura. Okay? That was the only thing I knew. So when I started on this path, of course I told you what happened to me with my children and all that. I met a guru who thoroughly abused me, opened my kundalini, and then refused to tell me how to take care of myself. Like if the kundalini got too high, what do I do? If I started to develop any, any negative symptoms, what do I do? He refused to tell me anything. So um, that is actually what happened to me. I started, it started getting really high, and um, I, saw, I developed a fever. Um, uh, a lot of things were happening. The only thing that happened was he had one of his girls that uh, do the, whatever they do up there every night look into the camera and say, yeah, yeah, bad things can happen with Kundalini. That was it. This was supposed to be my guru. So I've always used, used my page to help people, help myself. I, I figure we're all on a, we're all on a path. We, we should be able to help each other. That's where I came from. Well, that was pretty naive of me, wasn't it? Uh, so thank God somebody saw my video and they told me about the uh, Ashwini Mudra and I went and looked, looked it up on a yoga, some yoga page, and I found it. And then I posted that for other people to help them. I said, in case your kundalini goes wild, you can do this and this will help you. Well, after I did that, my former guru made his uh, boy toy post the Ashwini Mudra on his page so that his people would have it. So he was telling me right then and there, he was not my guru. He could care less whatever happened to me. Okay, so um, this is why I continuously help people. This is why I continuously come on here and tell people everything that I have experienced and what I have learned. Then, then um, the, the former guru also sends me this demon here. Okay, um, I, I didn't know what this thing was. I never had an experience like this in my life. I didn't know what this was. But the good thing that happened was I wasn't afraid of it when I, when I started interacting with it because I really thought it was from my guru and I still had bhakti for him. So I said he would never do anything to hurt me. What a fool I was. Um, these are why I share my experiences out here. I have not come across very nice people on this path. They're, they're people who are supposed to be teachers or gurus who are still very deep in the personhood and they're only out here for money, fame, and name and fame. And they could care less who gets hurt. This is why I do what I do. Okay? Um, this, the spirit world is real. 
and people don't understand this and opening the kundalini and playing with these uh, uh these occult these powers um the tarot cards the ouija board the pendulums you're all invoking the earth realm spirit world and the earth realm spirit world are low vibrational beings and this is what I'm trying to help everybody understand why because nobody helped me understand it and I had to learn all these things on my own that's why and I have not come across very nice people in this community so here's what I would like to like to say to you and, and you will see for yourself because this is the only time I'm going to explain this okay um, the people who are attacking me they are literally projecting their own venom out here on me as usual this is what has been happening this whole time this is what has been happening the whole this whole time so for all of these all of these years they have been doing all their dirty stuff behind the scenes so that nobody would know what they were doing and the people out here would see them as real gurus who were squeaky clean and who, who weren't abusing me but they were doing it behind the scenes or doing it covertly okay it doesn't mean that it wasn't being done because you don't know it does not mean it isn't happening same way that you don't know the spirit world exists does not mean it's not there do you understand so what I have ever said on, on to you on this page has been the truth and so let me put this in plain plain form for everybody for all this time these people have been isolating me and starting smear campaigns on me all of them all of them and the only thing that I can tell you is the proof is in the pudding the proof is in the pudding you see this glow on this face do you see this smile on this face yeah, that you can't fake that. You cannot fake that. So, I have not even had a like on this page other than my hackers. My hackers are the only ones doing likes and, and dislikes as, as if I care what they think about anything I do. As if I would listen to anything they say. Okay? But they're the only ones doing the likes and dislikes on this page. And, uh, Yet, I'm still here all the time helping people. I'm still here all the time helping people. So, in reality, not in the fantasy of duality and Maya, but in reality, I am who I say I am. I help and it comes from my heart. I'm looking for nothing in return. I have no desire to be a guru. And I don't want anything from anybody out there. You understand? Because if I wanted something from you, I would have ditched this page a long time ago because nobody will even give me a thumbs up. There's no appreciation. So I just saw a video by my beloved guru, Muji Baba. And warning, warning, not to be too helpful with people because people don't appreciate it and then people take advantage of me okay well I, I understand where his concern is coming from here's what I have to say you know if, if I'm giving from my heart and I'm not expecting anything back who could take advantage of me honestly who could take advantage of me you see and I don't know why people have a hard time reading me but I, I, I speak the, the truth There's just nothing here anymore. And the only reason why I'm still doing this, number one, I was instructed to come back here. Do you really think I wanted to come back here? I was instructed to come back here. So here I am. I'm helping. But I want nothing from anybody. I'm giving freely from my heart. So how can anybody take advantage of me when it's being given freely? The only other thing that I can say here is, I can only go by what I have seen from my teachers and um, 
I had made uh, I had made a video once before that I was not revealing anybody's secrets. That everything I'm revealing has been taught by the masters for years and years and years. That that I'm not revealing anything that's a secret in the in the spiritual community. As I see it, I could be wrong. As I see it, these secrets that were were said that I was doing are are only found with the gurus and the uh, the yogis, the yogis who do these practices to call on the interdimensional beings. See, I don't know anything about this because once Muji told me to stop doing anything like that, I stopped it. I followed what he said. I stopped it. So I don't know any secrets like that that the yogis have. And everything I'm out here teaching is out in public record from the books of Ramana Maharishi and Nisargadatta. You see, whoever wants what I share, take it. It's freely being given. Why? Because it was first freely given by my gurus. Freely given. The only thing with Nisargadatta was if you weren't serious, he would throw you out of his ashram. Okay? I'm not going to throw you out of anywhere. I don't even know where you are. <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. I'm passing it along freely because it was passed along to me freely by my guru. This is where I come from. There truly is nothing here. I don't want anything from anybody. And do you see the smile on my face? I'm, I'm not stressing over this stuff. I'm not stressing over this stuff. But a, a big part of why I continue this is because of all of the traumatic experiences I've had on this path by these fakes out here. And, you know, when you think about somebody having problems with Kundalini, this could be life or death for a person. And these people would not even help me. And they would not help anybody unless you paid them first. So what is that? That doesn't come from the source. Sorry. Sorry doesn't come from the source. But this is why we're all instructed to stay away from the Kundalini. Okay? And all of these occult practices. Because they're calling on the interdimensional beings. The majority of which are all around the, the earth realm. And the dimensions below and slightly above the earth realm. And they're of the lower vibrations. And most people out here who have never ever been exposed to witchcraft or, or mysticism before would not understand that, as I did not. And you can get seriously traumatized and seriously hurt out here, as I did. And this is why I share everything I know. And so, yeah, there really is no thing here. And in all this time, I've gotten no support on this page, not even a thumb up, except for my hackers, who, could, who I can care less about whether they like or dislike what I say. And um, yet, I'm still back here all the time, aren't I? So I don't know why. I think the only, the only plausible explanation for this is that, of course, you're all still in the personhood, and you're projecting. You're projecting why you believe I'm doing what I'm doing. It's the only thing I could say. And for my Guruji, I'm not sure if he even believes that I am where I say I am. But uh, there's nothing else I can do. Because the, my, I don't even have a life outside of my path. My path has been everything for me. So, um, I don't know what else to say, except this is why I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm not looking for anything in return. And um, I, don't want to get, I, I don't want to see people get traumatized and brutalized the way I did. The, teaching were, the teachings were freely given by Nisargadatta, and so therefore I'm just passing them on. Whoever wants them can have them. It brings me enjoyment to share Nisargadatta's teachings. It brings me great enjoyment to do that. And um, 
Why should I let any of these abusers stop me from doing that? And no, I don't want to be a guru. I don't want anyone depending on me. Because if tomorrow I decide, if I have a powwow with the source and say, source, please, I, I, I truly don't want to do this any longer for whatever reason, I, I would hope that the source would at least contemplate uh, my request. So I don't want anybody depending on me. I'm freely giving the information, my experiences from this path, uh, because I have been so brutalized out here by people who say they were realized and God on earth. And um, if you didn't have money to fork over, you weren't getting any help. Thank God for the good heart of one person. And uh, as, as far as I can remember, there were at least 25 to 30 people who viewed that video not one person helped me except I'm sorry only that one person helped me To tell me about the Ashwini Mudra and to tell me she didn't call it that she called it a different name And she told me to go find a video of it on a yoga page and that was exactly what I did and then after I found it and Posted it for others so that others could have help if they needed it with the Kundalini then the former guru made his boy toy, posted on his page. I, I couldn't believe the callousness and heartlessness of someone who I called guru. So uh, this is all a game out here. Very few of these people are true gurus. Very few of them are. And I will tell you the two that, that I have in my heart always is Muji Baba and Sadhguru. Sadhguru got a little uh, uppity with me because he didn't like what I was saying, but I have to speak the truth. It doesn't mean I don't like Sadhguru. I, actually, I see, as I said before, I see Sadhguru as pure love. I don't have to agree with him. He doesn't have to agree with me. It doesn't mean we have to be uncivil to each other. And it doesn't mean that either one of us is right or wrong. It means there is a difference of opinion. Nothing more, nothing less. That's what civilized people do. And I find it really hysterical. Uh, these goons are, are, are calling my phone while I'm trying to work today. And what they keep doing, they're so moronic. They, they make these robocalls come to my phone. I can actually hear them clicking over to the robocall. And they're constantly putting calls to me about, can we talk to you about your Medicare? As if being up in age is something to be ashamed of or embarrassed of. This is how immature, moronic, and stupid these people are. And how much in the sleep they are. They are inhabited by interdimensional beings from their guru who are of pure darkness. I'm very sorry. There's nothing to be ashamed about being up there in age. I've lived my life, good, bad, or indifferent. I've lived my life. And uh, that's why I am where I am, and they are where they are. I would rather be me any day. Okay? Stupid and ignorant is not where I would choose to be. So I hope this helps clear things up for some of you. Um, and my Guruji, I used to get so frustrated with you. Why couldn't you see anything good about me? You always thought, like, you would send me, you'd send me videos about how to stop your thoughts. Meanwhile, my thoughts have been stopped for a year already. You just could not read me, and I would get so frustrated with you. The only thing that I could say now to you is, I just absolutely adore you. <laughs> I just absolutely adore you. You are uh, uh, always, you could have turned your back on me a long time ago, but you did not. You did not. Even though you couldn't fully read me, you, I, you saw something in me, you stuck it out with me, and you're still sticking it out with me. And uh, I absolutely adore you. Thank you. Thank you, Guruji. But I'm okay. I'm good. Um, there's no person here any person in here anymore. Uh, so nobody has the ability to take advantage of me. 
I give as I can give, and I'm not looking for anything in return. Truly do not want to be a guru. Have no desire to be a guru. Um, not looking to make any money online. I feel I'm too old to get started in another career. I just want to coast out the rest of my life and do what I enjoy. So sharing this Sargadatta's teachings to me is just the same as painting a picture. Uh, it's something I thoroughly enjoy. So uh, that's why I do it. I truly don't want to be a guru, truly am not looking to make any money out here. I'm content with everything. And you know what the truth is? As far as I'm concerned, I am already a success. I am already a success. Um, not looking for any success out in the world. I'm already a success. So uh, it's all good. You guys all have a blessed day. Timeless love, Muji Baba.